This is the web registration login page. At this point, you can choose which language you would like to use to register your students. You can proceed in French by clicking the Francais link on the right-hand side of the screen. To log into the web registration site, your school must have a username and password to access this site. If your school already has an account with ADLC for registrations, you already have a username and password. If not, contact information can be found under the Contact Us link. Once you have a username and password, please enter the information in the correct fields and click on the Login button. After you have logged in the first page, you will see a list containing all students registered from your school. If you find the list too long, you can shorten it by modifying the date displayed, first by month, and the student's year of registration. Then click on Refresh. To add a student to the list, click on Add New Student. Type the student's Alberta student number, date of birth, and surname in the corresponding fields. Then click on Add Student. Add the student's information. Fields accompanied with an asterisk are mandatory. When all the information has been entered, click on Save Student Information. The Cancel button terminates the operation without saving. The student who was added is John Smith. To make changes in John Smith's or any other student's information, we must click on their respective names. We now find ourselves on the student's information page. Once the modifications are complete, click on the Save Student Information button. To register a student in a course, select the student by clicking on the box to the left of the student's name and click on Enroll Selected Students. If you want to delete one or more students from this list, click on the Add Remove Students link. On this list of students, select or deselect the students as required, then click on Enroll Selected Students. From here, to enroll John Smith in one or more courses, click on the Add Course link. If you know the course number, type it in the course code box and click Next. The back button returns to the previous page to make changes. If you do not know the course number, you can search for a course by entering course name or an abbreviation, for example, Math for Mathematics, followed by Grade, and click on Search Courses. For the moment, type Math 2037 and click Next. You are also asked if you would like the print or online version of this course. Choose, then select Next. For this presentation, we will choose Print. This page gives us a list of courses that we want John Smith to enrol in. You can add other courses by clicking on the Add Course link. We will return to the link Contact Us and the Enroll Students in Courses a little later in the presentation. For the moment, we will add more courses in John Smith's list. This time we will do a search by typing the word science. We can choose all grades or one particular grade. For this presentation we will choose grade 10. Click on the search courses button. We will now choose the science 10 course by clicking on SCN 1270. For this science 10 course you are asked if you would like the print or online version. Once you make your selection, click on the Next button. For this presentation, we will choose the online version. Now you are asked to choose yes or no for the French immersion version of the course. Once you make your selection, click on the Next button. For this presentation, we will choose no. Notice the information in the list of courses columns. Now let's add a third course by clicking on the Add Course link. We will enrol our students in a financial management course, FIN 2020, and click on the Next button. Now you are asked to choose yes or no for the French immersion version of the course. Once you make your selection, click on the Next button. 
For this presentation, we will choose yes. Verify that the information in all the columns is correct. Let's continue with the different steps. If you've registered one course too many, you can remove it by clicking on the trash can. Let's remove Financial Management 2020. If your school does not have an ADLC charge number, click on the Contact Us link to access contact information. If your school does have an ADLC charge number, type it in the box. Once complete, click on the Enroll Students in Courses button. If you have a purchase order number, it is optional to type it on this page. Once complete, click on the Next button. You must select the student semester, where materials should be sent, mark the boxes of different resources the student requires. Once complete, click on the Next button. This sequence must be repeated for each course your student is enrolled in. You must verify or choose Semester Mailing information Lesson materials Other resources Once complete, click on the Next button. We are now at the last stage of enrolment, the Summary page. Please verify all information. You can remove one or more courses by clicking on the Delete button. You can also modify the materials and fees for the course in question by clicking on the Edit button. Once you are certain all information is correct, click on the Submit Your Registration to ADRC button. ADRC will confirm your student's enrolment has been received. You can print a confirmation page by clicking on the appropriate link. You can enrol other students by clicking on the Register More Students link. To quit, click on the Logout link. This ends our presentation. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us. Our contact information is found in the Contact Us link. Have a great day.